One of the interesting things about a State of the Union address is it's always big theater, uh, but there's a question as to whether it's less than it used to be. And let's look at it from the perspective of TV ratings. Back in 1994, uh, four networks, uh, when Bill Clinton addressed the nation, 45.8 million viewers. Uh, last year for President Obama, 13 different networks, 33.3 million viewers. So more options, but fewer eyeballs. Uh, how much of that is a factor in the fact that the president was out for a week or two in advance of the speech saying, here's what I'm going to do? And he seems less worried about hitting the international road pretty quickly after, thinking, it's fine, I made my case. I mean, it's a, it's a huge factor. They, the White House has been calling this a roll-in rather than yeah. a roll-out. And, uh, you know, they're trying to get the most publicity possible for these proposals, and they understand that the way um, this, people consume the State of the Union or how many people consume the State of the Union at all has changed. So they're trying to find other outlets to get that to people. Uh, the White House would argue they're saving the institution of the State of the Union by turning to social media and things like that. Other people might say, look, uh, it doesn't seem very presidential to be sitting down with, you know, blue-haired YouTube stars, but I think that's the reality of the, well, the media si world we live in today. Si yeah. Since you mentioned that, let, let's take a look. Among those, among those, yes, the president has done some, you know, traditional media interviews, if you will, in the lead-up, and I'm sure he'll do some after the State of the Union address. But among those who gets to sit down with the president tonight, this was announced last week. If you don't watch YouTube, then you don't know Glozell Green. Have a peek. I have been asked to um, interview POTUS, the President of the United States of America. I know you're like, what did she just say? I know, the President of the United States. I'm so happy that I watched every episode of Veep. Okay, I need questions. Please leave your comments and questions in the uh, the comment section. I, I wonder if anybody's gonna talk like this, like, oh my, oh my gosh. Okay, but I'm gonna play it cool. I'm like, yeah, what's up? Okay, president. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. But ah! you, you, you gotta love the lips. Yeah. Um, look, a lot of people say, as you said, a lot of people traditionally say this is unpresidential. Right. I remember back when but, Bill Clinton went with his saxophone on Arsenio Hall and everybody said, <gasps> but I think it's cool to borrow that word because you got to go where the eyeballs are, right? And Get different people to watch you, not just people who right. always follow politics. And remember when he talked to Zach Galifianakis right. between, between two, two ferns, ferns? They could measure right. that enough people watched that and then went and signed up for the Affordable Care Act. So to the White House, that's success. If right. it means talking to a blue lip lady, well, so be it. But, um, you know, the other thing Should to keep be in good, mind... Should uh, online video viewing. Absolutely. Least, right? and, 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 and that's the other thing is the White House itself is doing its, its own... What do they call it? Enhanced viewing. Now, right. if you're not watching CNN, and let's be honest, you should be tonight, um, Thank or you, Bloomberg, sir. or WashingtonPost.com, <laughs> yeah. um, they're doing this thing where it's like pop-up videos, where right. they're going to be throwing up charts and graphs right. and stuff at the same time as he's speaking, and and they believe that there's enough of an audience for that too now. So. Right. If it's only 30 million people, it's because they adapt, think 3 million are watching adapt online. Adapt to the environment you live in, exactly. whether you like it or not. I guess.